guys. Welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to be doing a one-year update to an extremely popular video series I did one year ago, which was titled, My Girlfriend Wanted to Do a Wild Girls Weekend in Florida, So I Ended It With Her. And guys, that video series, which I believe was four videos, was definitely one of the most popular video series of 2022. And I'm sure many of you guys watching this, upon seeing this big update pop up, remember it. And as a recap, because it's been one year since I covered this guy's story, this is about the guy who ended up dumping his girlfriend who he was about to engage. He was this close to proposing to when she wanted to do a girls weekend in Florida. If you recall, he had been with, with her for about three years, I think. And he had a, what he thought was a great relationship. And upon starting the relationship, he laid out boundaries. And one was no girls weekends, clubbing, that type of stuff because he'd been in relationships before with two girls in particular who cheated on him with that same type of situation. He made it clear from the beginning, and the whole time, there was no girls' weekends, girls' nights, any of that stuff, and none of that BS carousel crap. Her two best friends, they were carousel riders, and definitely had an issue with this. But anyhow, he kicked her to the curb because out of nowhere, she suddenly wanted to do a girls' weekend, and she had a freaking meltdown over this. And he broke up with her, he told her to leave. She moved out. And he wasn't mean about it. He just made it clear we're in different paths. I want to get married one day, have a family. And if you want to do these wild weekends and stuff like that, we're not the same path. His mom and his sister gave him endless crap about it because they wanted him to marry her and all that. Fast forward a few years, he does, does the video to me. And he finds out that his mom and sister, his mom blabbed to her that he got her the ring. So coincidentally, the same time when she brought up the whole girls weekend... She obviously knew about the ring, felt comfortable in the relationship that he, she got him, and she pulled this crap, and it backfired. He also finds out that his mother, who is a snake, I might add, has been in communication with her all this time, going out to meet, meeting with her for lunch, hanging out, uh, telling her, feeding information to her that he really he really does love her and give, her, give him time, messing with her head, messing with his head, as well as his sister. He finds this out, how dare you mom, blah, 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 and the mother ambushes him with a girl coming to the house. He then goes out with her, I, I don't know why he did it, but he did, and he listened to her side of the story, the mother's been feeding her all this information, all that, all these lies, and at this point then, the relationship with he and his mom is over, and his sister. He also finds out from his dad why they broke up, his mom and his dad, because his mom, guess what, was a carousel rider when they were married. A serial cheater was his exact words. And she was demanding, bossy, impossible to live with, all that. They broke up. So big surprise, mom wants a big wedding, mom wants grandkids, and she doesn't care what any kind of manipulation tactics she had to do the situation. And ultimately, the story ended with him giving the girl another chance because he felt that they had a great thing going before. She was manipulated by the mom, her friends, all that. And many of you guys in the stories in the comment section, I wanted to slap the hell out of him for giving her another chance. I would say about 70% of the guys wanted to slap the hell out of him for giving her another chance. Like, don't do it. It's a bad idea. 30% said, you know what? Given the circumstances, and I can't remember them all, give her one more chance to see if she can, you know, live up to the standards. And he made it clear. I'm never getting married. He made abundantly clear. No marriage. Remember this. Two, you're never to hang out with those carousel rider friends of yours ever again. Number three, you're going to be obviously the type of girl that I want to have. Four, he, he was moving away to live near his dad. So I'm going. You want to come with me? Great. But that's it. And five, stay the hell away from my parent, my mom, my mom and sister. And he cut his mom and sister off. So things ended where that was. And here we are one year later. I know that was a long intro, but this has been a year, guys. Here we are one year later with an update as to his situation. Because he moved away, started working for his dad. The girl came along. She assured him, no marriage, no no problem whatsoever. And he hasn't talked to his mom since. So where things have, have they gone now? We will find out. And for all you guys that back then, if you remember this, they said, don't do it, dude. Don't, don't go back with her. It's a big mistake. I was one of them, but I respected his decision. And for all you guys said, give her another chance. Well, you're about to find out one year later what happens. And you'll find out who was right. Is it, uh, was it me and the 70% or was it the 30%? Well, you'll find out very soon. And of course, at the end of the story, guys, I'm going to repeat all the lessons that were so important in this guy's story. So here we are five minutes later. Off we go. He says, hey, SSM, long time no here. 
I'm the guy that wrote to you about my girlfriend, Sarah, that I dumped when she said she wanted to do an an out of out of state girls weekend with her tramp friends after a few and after a few years I decided to give her another chance after finding out that my mom was at the center of a lot of the drama. I think you labeled my story. Girlfriend wanted to do a wild girls weekend in Florida, so I ended it with her. Yes, brother, I certainly remember your story. I was wondering what happened to you. And when this popped up, I was like, oh yeah, definitely doing this one. I had to reread your stories because it was a freaking year ago, but I'm all familiar with what went down. Uh, since, this, since it was close to Valentine's Day, I figured this would be a good time to send you an update on my life. To start, my life is going great. I moved to live near my dad and have started working at his company, and we've been able to reestablish our relationship. That's awesome, brother. I'm so happy you were able to reconnect with your old man. Because your old man's a good guy who got the shaft by your freaking a-hole mom. I've also had the chance to get to know my younger half-brother, Kevin. And even though I'm a lot older than him, it's been a wonderful experience. Awesome. Oh yeah, both my dad and Kevin love your channel, and one of the videos has helped Kevin to see that his ex-girlfriend was as toxic as they come. It was the video where the guy pretended to be in an open relationship, and his girl cheated on him. My brother was in a similar situation, where his girl cheated on him, and he was trying to work it out. Thanks to you and your community, he's seen the light and promised that he will never let another woman abuse him like that. Well, welcome, Kevin. Welcome to the father of the guy that told the story. I'm glad it helped you. Kevin, don't make those mistakes again. Keep watching my show, watching other channels like me, and these problems won't happen again. And if they do, you know I'm going to smack you. I'm proud to say that he dumped her like a hot rock and never looked back, and she's been begging and chasing him ever since. It's amazing how insane they get when they face rejection. Yes, I say it all the time. Women can't take rejection. They're, they're addicted to attention validation. When a guy rejects them, one of two things happen. Either they become obsessed with the guy and they beg and chase until pretty much they just can't do it anymore. Or two, well, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. So on to my life. It was about a month after I sent you my last update that I moved to where my dad is and Sarah dropped everything to come with me. There you go. It was your way or the highway. I'm moving. You want to come along? Great. These are my terms. For the first few months, I was getting used to my new job and reconnecting with my dad. Life with Sarah was going very well, but I was taking my time easing back into the relationship with her. Good. Very wise. Under the circumstances, she's lucky she got a second chance with you. I'm amazed you did it, but you did. You gave her that second chance. And uh, it's good to take it slow. I know I said that I was going to get a vasectomy in the last video, and I almost did. I was sitting in the waiting room at the doctor's office, and I changed my mind. But before you get worried, no, I didn't get baby trapped. Okay, well, remember the rule. Always wear protection, always dispose your protection, never believe for a second that they're taking the pill. And if they are, they could just, oops, I forgot to take it on Monday. Your choice to do that procedure is your business. I don't want any kids right now, and I'm still young, and that might change in the future, so I didn't go through with it. Okay, I get it. Sarah moved in with me, and my dad gave her a job at the company, as well as helping, helping process orders. That's a bad idea. You shouldn't be working with your girlfriend or, or if your relationship guy's fiance, wife. Here's why. Y'all need space. Guy needs space. She needs space. She needs time away from him that he can she can think about him, wonder where he's up to, miss him, all that type of thing. And a guy has to have his time. And I might add, if they break up, well, that could cause a problem at work. But what's done is done. I think it was after we had been had been there for about four months when the topic of marriage came up. Weren't you the guy that told her that if we're gonna, I'm going to give you a second chance, I'm not getting married. Never happening, and she was all cool with it, as you said in the uh, previous emails, if I believe. Well, here you go. Four months after the whole thing went down, the whole shit storm with your mom, your sister, her, here she is asking about the marriage again. What I tell you guys when women start getting comfortable with their guy, just like before with, with the whole girls weekend thing in Florida, she found out from the mother that he got the ring. She immediately was thinking, I got this guy. He wants to marry me. Now I can propose the whole girls weekend thing. But surprise, surprise, 
she didn't have him. And now, after four months, they're in a relationship. They moved in together. She's working for the dad's company. She's thinking, here we go again. I'll just try this whole marriage thing one more time. But not surprised. Yeah, the whole marriage thing came up. And I reminded her what we already talked about and told her that it wasn't something that she could, if she could accept, that I would pay for a plane ticket so she could go back home. That was the end of the marriage discussions. Again, giant red flag. I told you in the last videos, every fucking video I did, and I say it all the time, guys, they all want to get married one day. They may say they don't. They may act like the cool girl, and I don't need weddings. I don't need that traditional bullshit. Bullshit. They all want that ring. It may not be right away. It could take some into their 50s or 60s, but one day, they at least want to have that wedding and be a Mrs. Somebody to have that ring on their finger, get all the attention. You know the drill. And right here. But it doesn't stop there. He says, honestly, everything was going pretty damn well. So you thought. Sarah was constantly showing me how much she cared about me and wasn't testing any boundaries since the marriage discussion. I was still taking my time because I know people can put on an act. She had already done that with me once, so I was taking things one day at a time and life was stress-free. But was it really stress-free? Honestly, it had to be in the back of your mind. I always have to keep an eye on her. Got to sleep with one eye open with this one, blah, blah, blah. So it wasn't truly stress-free. Uh, as an aside, you were right about my mom trying to contact me. It started shortly after I moved in with my dad, or, or, or moved, and uh, she couldn't get in touch with me. She tried to contact Sarah. When that didn't work, she got a hold of my dad, and he just, he just cussed her out before telling her to leave me alone. I'm sure your dad enjoyed that. He said that if I wanted to talk to her, I would reach out. I guess my mom wasn't very happy about that, but looking back, I can see she wasn't happy about very much at all. At least my sister was smart enough to leave me alone, and that's the only update on my mom and sister. Your sister will probably leave you alone. Your mother will never back down. Never. I would like to say that everything worked out with Sarah, but we are no longer together. I can't have I can't help but have this expression on my face right now, bro. And I, I, I don't mean to rub it in, but I made it clear in the other videos, you all remember. So break up with her, move on, but I respected your choice. So for the 70% of you guys saying don't get back with her, you were right. And you're about to see why you were right. He says, you were right, but I'm not angry or depressed. I knew it was a long shot that was going to work out from the beginning. It didn't even last a year. Shocker. A leopard does not change its spots, gentlemen. They can put on an act. They can act like Hollywood actresses. The Golden Gold Globe goes to Sarah for this act. And eventually the true colors come out. <clears throat> Once you break up with a girl, guys, if it's bad enough to end the first time, that's it. No, no, she's not going to change. It says, I knew that Sarah missed her family, even though, even though she talked to her mom on the phone every day. It was when it was close to Thanksgiving that she told me that she wanted to go home to visit her parents. But due to work, I couldn't make the trip with her. Not to mention, I didn't want to go anywhere that my mom could find me. So we agreed that she, that she would visit her family for Thanksgiving and we would have our own dinner when she came back. I couldn't really blame her since she basically dropped everything in her life to follow me. You didn't force her. You gave her a choice. You said, hey, if we're going to get back together, okay, I'll give you this one chance, the second chance. I'm moving away to work for my dad and start over. You're welcome to come, but I'm not forcing you. So you didn't force her. She chose to do that. And she chose to do that because she thought she could get you to change your mind and to cave and marry her and control you. And you get the point. She was going to be gone for three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks? Be off the job for a fucking dinner at Thanksgiving? Now I know it's the holidays and all, but come on. And I'm not sure it was deja vu or the slip of the tongue, but at the airport she told me not to worry because she was only going to be visiting her parents. In the first story, guys, when she was trying to convince him to go on her girls' weekend, she kept reiterating, don't worry. You got nothing to worry about. Even though her friends were freaking party girl carousel riders. 
And that came back to him. You see, I read the story. This, I reread his stories this morning because it's fresh in my head. It reminded me of when she told me I didn't have anything to worry about when she was planning her trip to Florida with her friends and I couldn't get out of my head. There you go, brother. Trust your gut. It was a few days later after she left and I couldn't stop thinking about it that I decided I had to know what she was doing and I hired a private investigator. I know some people might think I'm insecure, but I never ignore my gut when I'm telling, telling me something is off. Good brother. Fuck the people that label you as insecure and you're about to prove them wrong. We'd only been back together for a little more than seven months, and I still wasn't sure if it was all an act. But the cost of the PI was more than worth it to get rid of the doubt that I had. I think my channel is really going to help some private investigator businesses out there. Shit, I need to invest in some private investigators' operations so I can benefit from this. It was expensive, but well worth the price. I hired them to follow her during the week leading up to Thanksgiving, and unfortunately, Sarah ended our second relationship. Well, that's usually what happens. When the PI sent me the report, I guess I was a little shocked, but not really surprised all that much. They had pictures of her visiting my mom's house, as well as spending time at Starbucks with her pit viper friends. If you all recall, a condition in the get back together was, you're not going to be hanging out with those girls anymore. And, and in fact, I'm remembering this now because I read all four stories this morning. It was her who went to him saying that her friends friends basically were trouble, were trash, and that she was going to be in therapy and, and all these other things about that. Her saying they were trash. Nope. She's going right back to them. I told you, these girls don't let these types go. And she's back in contact with his mother. He cannot trust her at all. She's full of shit. But you had to go through this to, 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 to see it for yourself. Uh, that would have been enough to, br to break things off, but there were also pictures and videos of her and her friends at a nightclub hanging out with some random guys. Once a carousel rider, always a carousel rider. There you go. The wedding, red flag. She brought that up four months later when he told her no. Now uh, the, the friends, the mom at the club hanging out with other guys. I was disappointed, but thankfully I had fully invested myself in the relationship again. The breakup was fairly simple. I sent her the video of her at the club and the pictures of her with her friends and visiting my mom's house and told her not to come back and to enjoy her new life. I let her know I would be shipping her things back to her parents' house before I blocked her phone number. I also sent her parents the video and pictures and thanked them for always being nice to me. But Sarah was no longer welcome in my life. I let them know I'd be sending her things in their house to their house and blocked their number as well. Then I canceled the return flight for her trip over Thanksgiving weekend, I packed all her things and had them shipped. Why are you paying for it? Send her a freaking bill. Sarah did try to get in contact with me, and when she couldn't, she called my dad. I'd already told him everything and basically told her to fuck up. He, he said she fucked up because one day I was going to be the owner of his company. <laughs> I'm sure your dad's dream is for his son to be his successor. And that's awesome. I had no idea that was his plan, and I had no idea what Sarah is doing now. That was in November of 2022, and I haven't heard from her about it. Her, I haven't heard from her or about her. Well, bro, I guarantee you, you will hear from her again. I guarantee you, you will hear from her again. And all the guys in the comment section, you can all type away, letting him know that he will hear from her again, and you will hear from the mother, and they're going to be plotting away again. Uh, since then, I've been working with my dad, who's been teaching me everything about the business. Between my job and hanging out with my dad and brother, my life feels like it's pretty solid track right now, and I'm happy. Great, bro. That's your purpose. Learn everything you can from your old man about his business. That would be a guarantee his dream to leave it to his son. And probably the younger brother's going to have a piece of the action, too. That's great. I know there, I know there are some that said I shouldn't give her another chance, but I don't regret it. There is no doubt, there's no doubt, there's no longer any doubt in my mind about who Sarah is and my life is going great. Maybe someday I'll think about another relationship, but for now I have a lot of work to do and can't be bothered with romantic distractions. A hey, freaking man. The company, the business, mastering every bit of it, mastering yourself, bettering yourself. That's your purpose. Not, you had just too much 
trouble and bad luck with the women, man. But then again, this is today's world. This is why so many guys are done. You know, and, and it's unfortunate that so many guys are labeled all these nasty things. I'm sure you guys have heard them because God forbid you don't want to get involved with the modern gals of today. Now, does this mean that they're all like this? No. But sadly, the numbers are rising. And when you hear enough of these stories, like I do, because I've heard thousands of these, you pick up on some patterns. And it isn't just here in the U.S. of A. or the West. It's everywhere. Everywhere. Thanks to feminism. Thanks to social media. Thanks to dating apps. The list goes on and on. Traditional values are gone the way of the dodo. Maybe they'll come back one day when enough are alone with their box wine and kitty cats that they had never got a man, they might teach the next generation something, and we'll be all laughing our asses off. goes on here and says, um, So in the end, you were all correct, and I was wrong. It was an expensive lesson financially, but I really don't have any regrets. I'm glad that I didn't invest too much time into uh, the relationship, because I know it would have been a lot more painful. He says, This is... Giant letters, this is the last update to my story. And while it didn't turn out how I hoped it would, I'm not all surprised. Thank you, SSM, and your community for all the advice you gave me, even when I didn't listen to it. I hope you all have a fantastic 2023. Be safe and prosperous in the new year. Well, brother, I'm really happy that you wrote back. And I'm I, I, I'm glad you recognize, okay, I gave her the shot. You were right. You know, end of story. I respect that. And, uh, yeah, I wish you would have listened to me the first time, as well as 70% of the guys that said, don't go back with her. And, uh, but I guess you had to learn. So now you know. And mark my words, she's going to try to reach out to you. And your mom. Your mom is just, <laughs> God almighty. I think I said she's the emperor with tits or something. She's Emperor Palpatine's daughter or wife or somebody. Good, good Lord. I have nothing to do with your mom. Nothing to do with your sister, and certainly not Sarah. And Sarah's going to try to reach out. She'll probably show up on your freaking doorstep or something like that. Tell her to fuck off. You gave her that chance. So, guys, let's, let's review all the lessons in this story. Let, let's, let's go back. Number one, you have to lay out boundaries in your relationships. He did. No girls' weekends, no partying, none of that clubbing crap because he was wants something serious. And a gal that wants to get serious with a guy and be in a committed relationship leading to something like a marriage and a family doesn't need to do girls' weekends in Miami or anything, or Vegas or New Orleans or any place like that and clubbing and all that. She has to be done. The guy should be her top priority because I don't think he was out running off to Vegas and clubs and all that, right? Two, you pay attention to who her friends were. Friends are friends were. They're carousel riders. They're single. They wanted her. They wanted her. I think he mentioned like they were like the, the, the two of them. They were the three musketeers before him. They were the three musketeers before the three musketeers of carousel riding and clubbing before him. And they weren't very happy that he was taking her away from their clubbing. The single gals are going to be resentful and they're going to try to get her back into their scene. Also, I might add that a lot of single gals aren't happy they're single, so they want to keep their other girlfriends single so they can be uh, all together and be miserable. Misery loves company. Watch out who her friends are. Number three, that the gals that say that they're okay with not getting married ever, it's bullshit. Okay? And some may say, SSM, maybe they felt that way in the moment, and they'll change their mind later. Doesn't matter. I don't care what the technicalities are on the issue. They all want to have that ring on their finger one day and get married. Do not buy the I don't care about not get married thing. And also, when it comes to family, how they can meddle and get involved and they push you too far, you have to cut them off. And look at all the meddling his mom did. And there are other lessons here, but I should have written them down, but I never do. So you, you I'm sure you all figured out the lessons here. So guys, very important things here. Also, the lesson is once... You break up with a gal. Okay? It, the relationship ends one way or another. Don't get back with her because the, the, the problems that were there beforehand aren't going to change. Okay? And if they get back with you, they're going to tell you everything that you want to hear, as you heard in this story and, and the previous stories, to get a second chance. And pretty soon they're going to be back to the same old ways that caused you to break up. Anyway, it's best to move on and a story. So this guy learned this, and we've heard his story to help many new guys out there learn these things. So I hope every, all you guys, aside from the entertainment factor, learn something from this guy. This is part five of his stories. And I'm done writing final, final, final updates and all that shit because I, I don't have room 
in the title or the picture of the thumbnail, which you're going to see. So I, I absolutely wish this guy the best. And focus on your purpose, bro. Keep kicking ass in the world. Learn everything about the company. And uh, to the father out there, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're doing well. And I think it's awesome. You have a great business and company. You're living at your son. I wish you the best. And to the younger brother, Kay, out there, Kevin, I think that's his name, don't take back those hoes. Don't take back the carousel rides. Learn something here from your brother's experience. You're all going to be okay. Focus on your grind, your purpose, making something of yourself. And just watch out for those gals. All right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me just think about this. Let this guy know what you think. I'm sure you're going to. For all you guys that watched it last year and were saying, don't do it. Don't get back with her. You've earned your right to say, I told you so. But you can say with a smile because he's a bro. you know. And for the 30% of you guys that said, go back to her. Give her a second chance. Well, you learned once again. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.